Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. Here I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, uh, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions uh, according to the given information. See here, study the following bar graph carefully to answer the following questions. Here the information is about uh, number of candidates, number of candidates in thousands. In thousands in the sense whatever the values which are given in this bar graph all the values are given in terms of thousands. In terms of thousands. Number of candidates admitted in two different institutions. Number of candidates admitted in two different institutions. Here we have two institutions institute A and institute B. Here we have two institute, one is A and one is B and whatever the values which are provided in this particular bar graph, all the values are in terms of 1000. Here if you observe carefully, here in the year 2002, 2002 this value, institute A value to institute B value, here this line is in between 3 and 4. Here this line is in between 3 and 4, therefore it is 3.5. So, 2 is nothing but 2000. 2 is nothing but 2000. 3.5 is nothing but 3500. Whatever the value is given, you need to multiply that value with uh, 1000. That is the meaning of uh, thousands. Likewise, uh, 2002 is given, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006 and 2007. Total 6 different years and how many students are joined in those two institutions A and B. That is the given information. Information is very clear and also easy to understand as well. Now, look at the first question. If you look at the first question, what was the total number of candidates admitted in Institute B over all the years together? Here we need to calculate institute B over all the years together starting with the first year 2002. 2002. 2002 the value is 3.5. 3.5. First I will write whatever the values which are given in institute B in this particular bar graph. I will write all the values. Here it is 3.5. This is 4. This is 4. And it is uh, in between 5 and 6. So it is 5.5. Here it should be indicating that the bar which is in the white color. Okay. And next this one is 5 and this one is uh, 6. Now write down one by one. 2002 value that is 3.5 is nothing but 3500. Next 2003. 2003 that value 4000 2004 2004 value 4000 2005 value 5.5 5.5 is nothing but 5500 2006 5000 and uh, finally 2007 2007 that is 6000 now you can add all the values all together. Here if you observe carefully, last two digits are zeros. Last two digits are zeros. Now look at the hundreds place. 5, 5 plus 5, 10. Unit, uh, here the uh, carry forward is 1. Next, 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 10, 21. 27, 28, 28,000. So, in should be total all together over all the years. Over all the years, the value 28,000, which is option C. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. Let us look at the second question. Here, the second question is uh, in which year? In which year? Here we want to calculate the year. 
was the total number of candidates admitted in both the institutes together the second lowest in both the institutes together 2002 next 2003 2004 2005 2006 2007 in both the institutes together a and b total we need to write here first of all uh, write all the values here it is 2 this is 3.5 here it is uh, 3.5 and this is 4 and this one is 5 and this one is 4 and this one is 6 and this one is 5.5 and next uh, here it is 4 and uh, Five. This is a uh, five only, right? And here it is in between six and uh, seven, so it is six point five, and this is six. Now both A and B institutes together in two thousand two. That is two uh, plus three point five, which is equal to five point five thousands. As we are comparing the values, we don't want the Exact value into hundred is common for each and every value, right? So just write down five point five. That's more than enough. Two thousand three. Institute A three point five. Institute B four, which is equal to seven point five. Next two thousand four. Five plus four, that is equal to nine. Next two thousand five. Six plus five point five. That is eleven point five, and next four plus five, that is equal to nine again, and next finally six point five in two thousand seven six point five plus six, which is equal to that is twelve point five, twelve point five. These are the six values in both the institutes together over the years from two thousand two to two thousand. Seven. Now he is asking about second lowest. Here, if you observe carefully, the lowest value together lowest value is this one. Lowest value. This is the lowest value in the year two thousand two. Whereas uh, after this five point five, second lowest. Here it is seven point five. Less than seven point five. Is there any other value? No other value. So this is the Second lowest, second lowest, which is happened in the year two thousand three. Two thousand three is the second lowest. Among the options, option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Let us look at the third question. What was the respective ratio between the number of candidates admitted in the institute A? In the year two thousand six, Institute A in the year two thousand six, and the number of candidates uh, admitted in both the institutes together in the year two thousand four, and uh, second one is both institutes A and B in the year two thousand four. This was the ratio we need to calculate. First, what is A in two thousand six? A in two thousand six, Institute A. Institute A is dark one. Two thousand six is this one, and here it is uh, four. This is four. And next coming to two thousand four, both the values together. Here it is five, and this is four. Five plus four. Five plus four. Here no need of writing thousands. Why? Because as you are calculating the ratio, both sides you need to multiply with thousand, right? Everything is in terms of thousand. So this thousand, this thousand. Anyhow, it will cancel. Now finally, you will be left over with four uh, is to five plus four. That is nine. Four is to nine. There is no cancellation possible for these numbers. Therefore, the required ratio is four uh, is to nine. Look at the options. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Last but one question. What was the difference between? Here we need to calculate the difference between total number of candidates admitted in Institute A over the year two thousand four and seven together. A 
2004 and 2007 together and the number of candidates admitted b over the years 3 and 7 together b in the year 2003 and 2007 together first write down their values a 2004 a 2004 value 2004 is this one a value 5 which is nothing but 5000 5000 plus a 2007 this is 2007 a value it is 6.5 6.5 is nothing but 6500 and next uh, this value coming to this case here this one b 2003 b 2003 that is 4 4000 4000 plus b 2007 2007 is this one b value 6 which is nothing but 6000 now add these two values 5000 plus 6500 which is 11500 and next 4000 plus 6000 10000 now look at the difference between these two required difference we need to calculate the difference therefore the required difference is equal to 11500 minus 10000 that will give you the answer as uh, 1500 that is the required difference between uh, uh, a 2004 and 7 together b 2003 and 7 together that is the required answer 1500 option d is the right answer for this question option d last question in this session see here total number of candidates admitted in institute a over all the years together was approximately a over all the years a total all the years together approximately what percent of total number of candidates admitted in institute b over all the years together here this particular a total what percent of b total as we are calculating the percentage in 200 percentage symbol that is a common thing right therefore our required percentage is equal to a total divided by b total into 100 first i will calculate a total first i will calculate a total a total is equal to here write down all the values of a this is 2 this is 3.5 this is 5 6 and this is 4 and this is uh, 6.5 add all the values 2 plus 3.5 first of all forget about uh, 0.5 so here we have already one more 0.5 is there this will add to this one 4 uh, 2 plus 4 6 uh, 6 plus 5 6 plus 5 11 11 11 plus 10 11 11 plus 10 21 21 plus 6 27 a total is equal to 27 similarly here why i am not writing 1000 is uh, in both the cases numerator and denominator is thousands only so no need of writing thousands okay now coming to b total b total is equal to here i will write all the values of b this is 3.5 this is 4 and this is uh, 4 again and this is uh, 5.5 and next uh, 5 and next uh, here it is 6 uh, add all these values 3.5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5.5 5 six. here also will be having uh, 2.5 that will comes to 1 and next uh, 3.5 plus 0.5 that is 4 4 plus 4 plus 4 12 12 plus 5 17 uh, 17 plus 5 22 22 plus 6 28 here b total 28 b total 28 and uh, a total 27 now we need to calculate the percentage required percentage is equal to 27 by a total 27 and b total 28 into 100 percentage now you can uh, cancel these two here 47 sir 425 sir 
फोर सेवन से फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव से अगे इन ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव ये द मिड वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन दैट इज यर ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई लाइक दिस थर्टी फाइव कैरी इज थ्री नेक्स्ट टेन प्लस फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन And next, uh, two two is a four. Four plus two six six seventy five. Six seventy five divided by seven. Now you can calculate this percentage required percentage value. Here it is uh, seven nine zero sixty three. Still forty five is there. Forty five in the sense that is six times. Uh, so this is ninety six point something value. 96 point something. Therefore, the approximate percentage. According to the question, he is not asking us to calculate the exact answer. He is asking us to calculate the approximate answer. Approximate percentage is equal to 96 percentage. Approximately, that percentage is 96 percentage. So, in the given options, we have 96 percentage is there. Option E is the right answer for this question. Option E. In this way, we need to solve the questions related to this model. I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. And thank you, thanks for watching. In the next session, I will come up with some more examples. Uh, till then, have a nice day.